Good morning from Oxford. It's a bit blowy. Quite blowy. <laughs> We've got Storm Kathleen blowing her way into the country. Is that the one? That's the one, apparently. Same drill as always. We will share with you what we spend today, which will be as little as possible. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and hopefully a couple of little tricks to save you a little bit of money. Right, so first we need to tell people how to get to Oxford. How did we get to Oxford? We drove. <laughs> <laughs> Plus park and ride. Park and ride for a well, first time, I think. First, uh, mm. maybe not the first time, but we tried it. Yeah. Because it's hard to park in Oxford. Yes. So we did it, and it was how much? Five pounds. Five pounds for the two of us. Yep. Parking and bus. So all in, five pounds. Plus petrol. Plus petrol, yeah. So that was good. Um, other means of travel? Well, coach, as usual. Yeah. Uh, train. Train. Train was interesting. From, so trains from London, London, Bristol. Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah. And I was really surprised because I did check at the rail fare and it's from ten pounds from London. Is it? Which is incredibly cheap. It sounds very cheap. It's, it's there sure. were few and far between. The average price was 30, 33 pounds a ticket. But yeah, there were some tickets that were 10 pounds for a single two. Oxford for London. That's very cheap. Very cheap. So that's how you get here. Uh, I think our first stop, we'll go to the Botanic Garden, have a look. Start there, yeah. Let's go. Behind us is the entrance to the Botanic Garden. Yeah, can you see it? I can see it. <laughs> quite impressive. It is quite I impressive. Mean, it's not just like a you know, metal game. <laughs> um, it's eight pounds each to get in. We've done it before. We have done it before. And to be honest, it's, it's April, so... There's not a lot in there. If it was August or July and all the flowers are blooming, then you could probably get more out of it. Well, at least I would. Yeah. I'm now, not really a, a flower person. No. But if you like gardening and you like nature, it's a, a beautiful place to go, and it's right on the banks of the river as well. We have a little hack. That is that you go down Rose Lane, adjacent to the Botanic Gardens, opposite Magdalen College. Yeah. Yeah, just try and get the bearings. Yeah, and um, if you walk down there, you go into Christchurch Meadow, and you can actually see half of the gardens there across the fence for free. You can if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the gardens. There are lots of um, greenhouses, speciality greenhouses. No, it's a nice it is, place it to is go. a worth. It is worth a visit. But if you're not that bothered, maybe just go down to Christchurch Meadow. Yeah. Right. Where next? Should we go and have a look at the boats and see how much Ooh, they are? Oh, hundreds, yes. <laughs> Hunting. Not just in Cambridge. In Oxford as well. Yeah, in Oxford as well. How much was it? Uh, a show for the hunt, I think £45 for half an hour. Yeah. Or a do it yourself thirty pounds an hour. But... Expensive. Huh? Quite expensive. It's quite expensive and a lot of money for making a fool of yourself. <laughs> yeah, and it's quite chilly today and I don't fancy a wet bum. Huh? No. Huh? Every time I go in one of those sort of boats I end up with a wet bum. <laughs> where shall we go next? Uh, well, there must be some sort of university down here. There must be. It's Oxford. Should we go and have a look? Go on. one of the colleges. It's £9.50 to get in. This is Magdalen College but it's actually spelt Magdalen. Pronounced Magdalen though. In this clip as we walk down some very pretty streets the microphone failed but what I'm explaining to you is that there's been teaching taking place in Oxford since 1096 AD and in around about 1209 AD, some of the local students in Oxford fell out with the local townspeople 
they fled to another little town called Cambridge where they set up another university. So the green building just there was the home of Edmund Halley. He was the guy that discovered Halley's Comet. Or Halley's Comet. Which is it? Discuss. No <laughs> one. Bodleian Library and the courtyard is free to go into, you pay just to go into the actual library itself. You can go straight through and to this building. And that's the Radcliffe camera, which is also, I believe, a library. Right next to the camera, behind me, is the church. I can't remember what it's called. I'll find out. I found out this week though, you can go up the tower and look out on all of this. So at least one of us is going to try to get up the tower before this storm comes. University Church of St Mary the Virgin, that's the tower there. Six pounds each to go up. You're going up? How much to come down? <laughs> um, I don't know. Are you going to wait here for me and I'm going to go up? Okay. Oxford is a thriving city with a commercial heart, uh, street entertainers, restaurants, all kinds here. But this isn't the kind of shopping that we want to do. We want to go and find something local, something unique. So we're going to head now to the covered market.
the last time we came here, it was closed. Everything was closed. There's so much here. Um, and so many places to eat. I'm really impressed with this. However, haven't managed to find a decoration for our Christmas tree yet. I'll keep looking. Is Christchurch College. Um, like Cambridge, the university is made up of lots of different colleges and you can go into the various college buildings, pay to go in and see them. And Christchurch is a particularly popular one. Do you know why? What? It was used to film lots of scenes for Harry Potter. Was it? Yep. What? The inside or outside? The inside. Was it? So the dining hall of oh. Uh, Hogwarts is one of the rooms in here. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, come on down and take a look. You can get in. Can you? you can get in. We'll have to go and see how much it is. Okay. We've just checked out the prices to go in. Can we go in? It is £20 on the door per person to go in. £18 if you book in advance. I love Harry Potter. I don't love Harry Potter that much. Where are we now? We are in Christchurch Meadow. Very nice. It's lovely, isn't it? You made a very good point a second ago. I did. You did? <laughs> you said, why would you want to be stuck indoors? Well, look, this is a very nice place to just walk around, take in the architecture and the scenery. Yeah. It's a very uh, well-kept ground. And you could have a wander around and take a picnic or something. You don't actually have to spend any money at all. No. You quite happily wander around the shops, have a, you know, have a look around the different shops, take in the views, um, and be quite happy. And it's, so you, it's the same thing that I always say, like when you're in it, you can't see it. So you don't need yeah. to go into the buildings to appreciate them. You, yeah, because I mean, once you, you're in them, you can't see them. If that's your thing, fine. I mean, today it's uh, rammed with other tourists, <laughs> so it's not my sort of thing at all. But if you want to do that, that's fine. But I'm more of an outdoors person and I appreciate outdoor stuff like scenery, trees. Yeah. yeah. Even buildings today. I've been quite impressed with the, the architecture. It's lovely. It's beautiful architecture. Right. Um, we've seen everything we need to see in Oxford. So nice. I think we're going to head for home. Um, that's it. As you can see, we haven't spent a lot of money today. Um, what have we spent? So we spent five pounds on the parking and the bus. Uh, apart from that, petrol to get to the park and ride. Six but pounds for me to go up the tower, and we haven't found a souvenir. That's it. That's all we've spent for a day out in Oxford. But. Okay, so that's it from us for today. As always, if anything you've seen has been helpful or useful, give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. We would love to have you along on our journey. Um, and that's it until next time. Bye. See you later.